Okay. So I was originally really excited to do this video because it was the doll video, right? It's like, hey guys, we got a new character in One Piece. She's a Marine Vice Admiral. She has a cool spiked choker collar. She has like this goth dominatrix thing going on. She's got cool tattoos. She kicks things really hard. I'm like, yeah, for no other reason, I'm gonna make a video about doll, right? So I was, I was really excited originally, but then, I had a realization, and um, I said so with, uh, I can't remember if it was the last video I did about Kizaru or if it was in the review itself, but at one point, I was sitting down, and I was thinking about all the different players that are at Egghead right now, all the people, you got all the Marines, you got the Straw Hats, you got Vegapunk and the Satellites, you got Saturn, and more importantly, you have the Blackbeard Pirates. Alright, now I did a video about this a while ago, already, talking about like, okay, Lafitte is there, and he has the ability to get in and out of locations, you know, apparently super stealthily. Like, if there's anybody in the One Piece world that could just like, like, he snuck into Marijois without anybody noticing, and then escaping, also without anybody being able to catch him, alright? So, he has the ability to grow like pigeon dove wings, so maybe he's like a mythical angel zone or something like that, maybe he could tell teleport, I wouldn't be surprised with Lafitte, okay? He also has the ability to hypnotize people, so, you know, definitely an infiltration specialist, right? But the other person that is most likely to be there is Katarina Davon, because she is also the only member that was not present at Hachinosu when Garp and Sword raided the place, and also was not part of Blackbeard's group when they were at Winter Island fighting against Law and the Heart Pirates, right? Uh, Davon and Vasco were at Amazon Lily, but that occurred a little bit before in the timeline, when Blackbeard went there. So this is like in the present storyline, Lafitte and Davon are the two Titanic captains that are not like uh, accounted for anywhere, right? So I was thinking like, all right, well, Davon has the ability to copy appearances, right? And so I was thinking like, all right, well, what if Davon copied the appearance of like a character that was like maybe not super relevant, but somebody in the crowd uh, around Egghead? And then I immediately thought of the Vice Admirals because we were introduced to a bunch of random Vice Admirals, right? Like a bunch of them, like, here's Vice Admiral Beardsley, and here's the guy with all the chins, and, and here's Bluegrass that has the ride, ride fruit, right? In fact, I should do a video about that. That's an interesting power in its own right. But anyway, all these Vice Admirals are there. Also, every other Marine that was uh, ranked below Rear Admiral, so Commodore and below, uh, was not allowed to even be in the same area when Saturn emerged, okay? So, Davon could have transformed into, like, a random Marine soldier, but she wouldn't be able to see what's going on. So, if Davon is present on Egghead, because we know Blackbeard's ship is there, 100%. We saw Blackbeard's ship, okay? He is there right now, or one of the Titanic captains is there right now, okay? So, Davon, it would make the most sense if she transformed into somebody of, like, uh, you know, Rear Admiral, Vice Admiral level, or if she transformed into, like, one of Vegapunk's satellites, or just somebody that would be around right now observing everything happening, right? And so I'm like, oh, wait a minute, please don't let it be Doll. Please do not let Doll be the one that she transforms into, because that means that she's probably dead. And then when I said that, I didn't even realize it. People in the comments went ahead and like, finished the thought for me, pretty much. Like, Teching, you know Katarina Davon, her backstory is she is a serial killer that goes around headhunting women that she deems as beautiful. And it was actually, I mean, it was mentioned in a Vivra card that that was her backstory, but it was confirmed in the story that that is what she's about when she went to Amazon Lily and she's like, oh yeah, Boa Hancock, the pirate empress, I would love to, you know, slice off her head and use it as a trophy in my chambers, you know, like that was Davon, like that's what she wanted to do with Hancock, right? So it's like, all right, we already know that, and now I'm thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have Vice Admiral Dahl, who was just introduced, okay? So, the fan base doesn't really have a strong connection with her, right? I mean, like, well, yes and no, but, but you know what I mean? Like, she's not, like, a firmly established character that has had years and years of lore, and all of a sudden, like, let's be straight up here, Oda could kill her, 
and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Like, oh no, this character that was just introduced a year ago died, right? But I'm like, wait a minute, no, this makes the most sense. Because Katarina Davon would see the Vice Admirals, she would see Dull and be like, oh yeah, she's beautiful. I'm gonna, that's, she's the one I'm going to kill and then assume her place, transform into her. We don't exactly know how the Kitsune mythical zone that Davon has works yet. Uh, if she has to, I don't think the prerequisite would be she has to kill the individual in order to transform into them. Maybe it is, because the only time we saw her utilize this power was against, uh, was, was using Absalom's form. And Absalom did in fact die, they killed him. So she could transform into people that are dead. That's something we already know. So that's already a strong power. Okay, like I wonder what the, um, what the thing is, like the impetus for activating the ability. Like, like, do you just need to see the individual? Is it like Mr. Two Bong Clay's ability where he has to, like, physically touch your face in order to transform into you? Is it enough to see a picture or a drawing? Okay? Because if that's the case, like, um, I guess that is also an interesting question with Bong Clay's fruit. Could Bong Clay, like, if he copied, like, Cobra. Cobra died. Could Bong Clay still turn into Cobra even though he's dead now? That's an interesting question, okay? So same thing with Davon, right? But we, well, we know with Davon that even if the person dies, maybe, like, like okay, I have to, like, physically, you know, touch you in order to transform into you, but that happens when you're alive, and then when you're dead, though, I could just still assume that form, right? Something like that. Or it might be have to, like, I literally do need to kill you in order to transform into that, that body, okay? Either way... It doesn't, it doesn't look good for Dahl, now that I'm actually thinking about it, right? So, Dahl showed up, and uh, she fought one of the Mark Threes. She jumped onto the island, and she kicked one of the Mark Threes right in the jaw and, like, broke it. Okay, so she's super strong. I, I don't think she has a Devil Fruit. I think her main focus is hockey, and she, like, as a kickboxer, she fights with her feet. Okay, so she just, like, hockey, armament hockeys up her leg and kind of, like, Sanji a little bit. And so just, like, kicks the crap out of everybody around her. That seems to be the impression, right? Um, so if we're going along with that logic, I assume it was Dahl that was the one that kicked and beat down one of the, um, the Pacifista Mark Threes, that was the real her, but we haven't really seen her since. So I'm just saying, like, if there's a situation where the Vice Admirals are all, like, retreating or they're leaving or something, uh, or, like, one of the Vice Admirals has a moment with Saturn, which is the big one, because the big thing about Davon being there and the Blackbeard Pirates being there in general is a popular theory is, yeah, they might be after the Straw Hats, they might be after Vegapunk, um, but the fact that Saturn is there is huge, because now you could have an opportunity to kill one of the Gorosei, and if Davon's power is as strong as it is, assume the form of one of the Gorosei. Now, would that work on Saturn, because he's weird? <laughs> you know, Saturn is, like, really, really old, and he has the power of the Mythical Zone. Like, I, I feel like, at the very least, Davon would be able to assume his human form, probably not, like, the spider, like, ugh, like the, not the spider form, but I feel like... The, uh, the original old man guys that Saturn has, okay? Maybe she would be able to take that form, okay? But that would be a huge opportunity. Can you imagine if if Davon had the ability to turn into one of the Gorosei and could order around basically the entire world government organization at a whim? That would be crazy powerful, okay? Now, there's other issues with that. Like, wouldn't the other Gorosei notice that, like, ah, Saint Saturn hasn't returned in a while. Maybe something's wrong. Or Saint Saturn has ordered all of the marines to fight against um you know the, this other force or something we didn't order that wouldn't eem be like mm, that's a little strange but you know blackbeard doesn't know about the existence of eem except okay you know like if, if you were to tell me blackbeard does know about eem i'd be like all right go on i I'll, I'll entertain that idea because that's something that could be a thing by the way there's a new theory on the books right now that blackbeard is a member of the buccaneer uh tribe and I'm like, well, you know what? Like, it's kind of the same thing with King. It's like King introduces the Lunarians to One Piece, and it's like it wouldn't make... Like, like, who cares other than, like, okay, this is the only Lunarian we're ever going to see in the story, and we're never going to see them again, okay? Well, King introduced Lunarians, and now all the Seraphim are Lunarians, and there may, may, may very well be other Lunarians out there. What would be the point of, like, Kuma was a Buccaneer! And then there's no other Buccaneers in the story, right? I mean, we could always get the flashback to Joy Boy and stuff. And, like, Joy Boy was probably a Buccaneer. But, like, there's a theory that Blackbeard might be a Buccaneer. So, which maybe if, if he's Rox's son, maybe Rox was a Buccaneer. And then that's why he wanted to be king of the world. It all kind of ties back together, right? 
But we know, go, going back to the whole Doll, Davon, Saturn guys thing, like, like the ultimate goal would not be to take the form of Doll, but that would be like one step to get to where you need to be. It might even be like a long game kind of situation. Like Doll is going to, I mean, uh, Davon is going to transform into Doll and go deep cover into the Marines until the moment is right or something like that, right? That could definitely happen, right? Uh, with Lafitte also being there with his hypnotism powers, you could also... Also, like, if anybody saw Davon, like, decapitate Doll and take her form, like, oh, no, Doll's dead, Lafitte could show up and be like, no, she isn't. She's perfectly fine. It's like, Doll is perfectly fine. Yes, we know, but also she's fine. It's just like, yes, there you go, right? They're like, so that's actually the perfect kind of combo move when you really think about it, right? So then, like, and we saw earlier that uh, when Saturn was on the ship and nobody was supposed to know he was there, like, we knew Kizaru was like his personal attendant, so Kizaru was there with Saturn, and Doberman. Doberman was a vice admiral also giving orders to Saturn. Like, you can't have nobody know that Saturn is there. Like, somebody needs to cook his food, somebody needs to deliver reports to him, okay? And that was like the vice admiral. So the vice admirals are like clearly on a higher tier than all the other marines, like Commodore and below. I guess rear admirals as well, but we don't see a lot of those, right? So Dahl is a vice admiral, so... You know, being a vice admiral in the Marines, I know there's a lot of them, and so we, we often kind of, like, maybe trivialize the vice admirals, because, like, oh, they're, they're strong, but they're no admiral class or anything like that. I get it, but still, just from what we know, if you take the place of a vice admiral, you have... You're, you have your finger on a lot of different buttons, you know what I mean, at that point. You can kind of infiltrate the Marines in a way. Like, like Dahl is the leader of an entire Marine base in the New World. She is the branch head of G14, okay? Like, so, that would be a big deal if she was now dead and Davon took her place. Even more so, if Davon, because, like, with, with uh, Mr. Two Bong Clay, we only knew that he could transform into the appearance. He doesn't get um, the abilities. I mean, like, he could try to use their abilities, but he's not as trained in them, right? He doesn't get their memories or anything like that. Since Davon's is a mythical zone and maybe the upgraded form of the Mane Mane no Mi, maybe she does get the memories, okay? Which would be a huge, like, so to that point, you could could kind of like just like she could seep right into G14 and no one would be none the wiser okay and so after the events of Egghead after the battle is over I mean the Straw Hats are eventually going to get away after all this is said and done uh you know Davon as Dahl you know retreats back to G14 and just like oh yes everything's fine by the way I need to go to Marine HQ now you know so now you have a member of Blackbeard's crew infiltrating the higher echelons of the Marines there's a lot of opportunity there, is what I'm saying. Um, now, there's other people that Davon would deem as beautiful and that she would assume the position of. So, obviously, you think of, like, Nami and Robin. But I don't think we're going to do that this early in the story. Like, I feel like Davon is eventually going to fight Nami. Robin, uh, or maybe both of them, and that's going to happen in, like, the final war, you know, when the Blackbeard Pirates are finally facing off against the Straw Hats. You know, obviously, Zoro's going to fight Shiryu. Obviously, Usopp's going to fight Van Auger, right? Um, you know, some of them are, like, one-to-one -one kind of thing. And when it comes to Katarina Davon, I could see Katarina Davon fighting Nami or Robin, or both of them, okay? Now, uh, so I don't think that that's going to happen quite yet. Uh, we have Stussy. Stussy's also present. But I feel like with everything going on with Stussy, it wouldn't make much sense for, because, like, whoever Davon, like, assumes the form of, I feel like is also going to die, because, like, that's the kind of idea of it. You know, I don't think that Davon's going to murder Stussy and take her appearance, especially since we, we have just been introduced to Stussy having, like, a succubus zone, <laughs> or she's, like, a vampire lady now, right? And she's a clone of Miss Buckingham Stussy. I feel like there's a lot more stuff to unpack with Stussy's backstory for her to die right now. But when it comes to Doll, shit, man. It's it's just like, it's kind of a perfect setup, right? We introduce Doll, she's very beautiful, and it's like, okay, and then it's like, oh, Davon killed her and took her form, there you go. Uh, who else do we have? I mean, like, Lilith or York, I guess. York is still chained up in the Labosphere. Uh, Lilith is, uh, well, she was, she was, uh, paralyzed or petrified by, uh, S. Snake's, uh, you know, love, love, love fruit. But I was, I believe, has been, you know, depetrified since then, and so I think we just saw her, like, around the lab, wherever. Um, you know, so, uh, actually, have we seen Lilith since the events of the evening on Egghead? 
I think we have, but I don't know if we, I don't know 100%, but, you know, it could be Lilith as well. Uh, but that's one of the Vegapunks, so I'm curious of, like, if Davon just killed one of the Vegapunk satellites and then took her form, like, would that, like, I feel like that would be something that, like, Vegapunk would notice, like, oh, uh, you know, one of my satellites is dead, <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, Lilith, what are you doing? You're not the real Lilith. Like, I feel like that, I feel like Vegapunk at the very least should be able to realize that, like, you know, you're not the real Lilith. Then again... I was going to assume that Vegapunk would know everything that the other satellites know, but that's clearly not true because York was able to still be a traitor. York was still able to keep all of the, you know, the talks with the Celestial Dragons and the plan that they had come to and everything like that and the betrayal. York was able to keep that a secret from not just the other satellites, but with Vegapunk as well, who they're all linked up to punk records. So the satellites do have individual ability, I guess, to not share information. Uh, you know, that's very obvious obvious there, so I, I don't think it's going to be Lilith, I don't think it's going to be Stussy, and I think that you know, the situation with Nami and Robin, they're, they're part of the main cast, you know, they're the Straw Hats, so I don't think that's going to be a situation yet either. So, um, yeah, that was, that was basically it. Uh, I know it's a rather on the, on the short side of a video, you know, but I really just, I, I was going to do this whole thing about Doll, and I was going to like, okay, we don't know much about her, but I have to figure out, I'll, I'll come up with some backstory for Doll. You know, like, how did she join the Marines or something like that? How did she end up in the New World? How did she end up, like, it was going to be more of a fan fiction video, if anything, to be honest with you, right? Um, but instead, I, I said that thing about Davon, and then everybody's like, oh no, yeah, it makes perfect sense for Davon to kill Doll, take her up here take her uh, place as a vice admiral Lafitte could hypnotize anybody else around them that have seen that and then it would just be you know whatever Blackbeard's ultimate goal is right okay but uh, infiltrating the marines and eventually the higher echelons of the world government like if she was able to take the form of like Saturn like that would be uh, said and done right there marines would listen to Saturn unconditionally Saturn could give the craziest orders in the world and the Marines would have to follow it just because of his status, right? Okay. Um, if, if Blackbeard does turn out to be a buccaneer, that might also have something to do with, like, him having multiple devil fruits in his body, uh, and it might have something connecting back to rocks and then eventually Joy Boy. Like, wouldn't it be interesting if it's, like, the whole Will of D thing? Like, what if it's, like... Because the idea, like, for a while, we used to think that, like, Roger was, like, Luffy's dad or something. And we found out that that wasn't the case. What if it's a situation where the bloodline of Joy Boy, like, the actual bloodline, like, Joy Boy had a child who had a child who had a child going down that straight bloodline, ended in rocks. And then rocks was the father of Blackbeard. So Blackbeard represents the bloodline of Joy Boy. But Luffy represents the will of Joy Boy. Like I said, this is probably another video for discussion, but then that's an interesting parallel to showcase that, yes, Luffy and Blackbeard do have a lot of similarities, but they do differ on a lot of key factors. And there you go. So you could have a thing where it's just like, oh, the bloodline of Joy Boy flows through my veins, you know, Blackbeard could say. He's like, I am a member of the Buccaneers. And at, just as Joy Boy, you know, detested the world government, I'm going to burn it all to the ground. Whereas Luffy doesn't want to do that. Luffy is more about the spirit of Joy Boy, the will of Joy Boy, rather than just like the directive. Maybe back in the day, Joy Boy was trying to prevent the world government from taking over, but he didn't want to like ca cause wanton death or anything like that. Right. It, it's different now because the world government is already established. Like Dragon himself even said, like, I don't want to destroy the entire world government. I just want to get rid of the Tenry Beto. Might be something there. But yeah, like I said, video discussion for another day. Uh, this video, I think, was less than 20 minutes. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know how you feel about this down in the comments below. Uh, we might have to be saying goodbye to Doll soon. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate indeed. But uh, hey. What are you going to do, right? Later, everybody. Teching, signing out. I'm hoping I'm wrong on this one.